welcome to this week's vlog. So, we're doing something a little different. In light of the situation going on right now, not that we're making light of the situation, but in light of the situation, <laughs> I thought that we would kind of break up the weekly vlogs. You know, they tend to be kind of long, but this way we can include a little bit more and uh, in them and we'll just kind of break them up and I'll upload them throughout the week, okay? So uh, we'll start the vlog. I think I started the vlog. This It's actually Thursday of this week and I just thought of this. So anyway, so we're kind of going to back up a little bit. But um, I think that uh, we'll just kind of break it up over the course of the week. And um, that way we can upload a little more distraction for you. Look, that's the whole point, distraction. So a lot of us are home. A lot of us are staying home. A lot of us don't have a choice in being home. Um, so you know what? We can just have a little bit of distraction. We still have Amazon for when I'm cooking something, if we need to order some flour or whatever the case may be, we still have some Amazon. I'm gonna try and be mindful of that, although I do kind of have to incorporate meat and stuff like that into it, but uh, we'll do a little extra cooking and stuff like that. Also, it was suggested to me um, during our live up there, well, I'll pop it up here, but it'll be there throughout this whole video at any time. You can click on that eye and then it'll drop down and take you wherever you want to go to whatever link I've mentioned or video link I've mentioned. Anyway, it was suggested that I do a live cooking segment, like a lot, like go live on YouTube and, let's, and we cook together. So what do you think of that? You know, I'm not an expert cook. You guys know that. I play around and experiment and, you know, tell you my opinion of recipes. <laughs> so, but I thought maybe we could do that. We could kind of cook together. Um, I don't know what, I have no idea what we could make together. Something simple, obviously, because it needs to be time sensitive. But what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. So, um, there you go. All right, you guys, now back into the regular weekly vlog. I just wanted to let you know that I am gonna break these up a little bit. We also have the Davina vlogs going live right now, so all that's coming just a kind of distraction. That's just all there is to it. Distraction from what none of us really want to have to think about. You know, we are wishing you all the very best, all the very best. And we also, as always, thank you so much for watching and being a part of our little YouTube family. Okay, here we go. Hello, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Saturday, the 14th of March. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, let me turn my phone off, my watch off airplane mode. It uh, is 80 degrees here in Houston, or Katie. We're back home. Um, it's actually our, the day we got home. I closed out the sneak peek, and I'm going to go ahead and start this week's vlog. My goodness, while we were gone, my Boxy Charm and Ipsy both came in. Um, I also have the regular Ipsy, the $12 bag coming. It hasn't come in yet. I am just about to polish my nails. They look a mess. I brought nail polish to polish in between the two cruises, but, um, and then possibly to polish while we were on the Magic. But as you know, the cruise was canceled. So, you know, it is what it is. We're healthy, we're well, and um, not everybody can say that. So. I will not complain about anything. Uh, Carnival was more than generous in um, their offer when they canceled the cruise. It was, uh, of course, 100% future cruise credit plus $600 onboard credit. Now this current cruise, we would have had $200 in onboard credit. Um, do they combine? Probably not. So I wouldn't think so. Anyway, okay, so let's start with Ipsy Ultimate. This is the March Ipsy Ultimate box. Um, this is the last one that I'll be receiving. And my boxy charm, I actually need to call them because it was supposed to be the the premium or yeah, the plus 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 one. And I paid for it, but that's not what came in because I canceled that. I don't know, but I paid for it, so I want to make sure it does come in. Anyway, maybe it renews when you're gonna do it. I don't know, I'm not, I'm, I will find out, but honestly, I'm canceling it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so the first item, there's no paperwork in this box. The first item is the Library of Flowers American Small Batch Perfumery, hand cream and a honeycomb scent, cocoa butter. So I'm excited about this. You know, I already showed you, just got the February one in. There was another hand cream in there, Tokyo Milk Hand Cream. 
I love this. I love like pretty and perfumey hand creams. I love that. Love to have them in my purse. So we'll definitely use that. This is the Pixi Glow Mist. Does it make you glowy? If it makes you glowy, I don't want it and it will go to my daughter-in-law. Um, but I've been wanting to try some Pixie, but I just, you know, I, I have so much. I need to go through a whole bunch before I can try any Pixie that doesn't make me glowy. But yeah, I think this glow is glowy. I don't know, I'll do a little research. And this is the Hey Honey Show Your Glow Collodial Gold and Honey Beauty Mask to smooth, firm, and hydrate your skin. That will go to my daughter-in-law. Just not real fond of the Hey Honey brand. Anytime I've gotten anything from them, my skin doesn't like it. It doesn't seem to do anything for me. So, I'm excited about this. You know this complex culture. I love these brushes. Um, I really, really love them. Oh, the little thingy came off. Uh, this is the foundation brush, and this will be, I'm sure, no exception. I use powder foundation. I'm sure this is meant for liquid foundation too, uh, whatever you like. I do like a foundation brush like this. And I also like to use it for um, powder foundation, which I think I just said. So I'm excited about that. I really like that brush line. This is the third one from Ipsy. I will miss them if they continue to send them. This is the 111 Skin Harley Street London Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. Great. Alrighty, and then there was another one in here. This is the 111 Skin Under Eye Celestial Black Diamond Eye Mask. Okay, eye masks. I love those. I love the ones by Wander Beauty. Oh, oh, it's just a little pamphlet giveaways for days. Um, let's see. We'll do that one last. And then this is the Brow Contour Pro. It's like those click it pens, pens you used to get when you were younger. And um, I have swatched this. There's, there's, I, mm, I'm not real sure what, how useful this is going to be for me, especially, I mean, I know it's a pal, anyway, but I'm drawing on myself so you can see. Is that say deeper shade? There is a color in here that will work for me, one to you. But they're not really, they're a little too dark. I've already swatched things. They're a little too dark or too light. I don't know, we'll play with it. I've already written all over myself with it, so I may as well use it because otherwise it goes to waste. Okay, next item is the Face Hero, a powerful and protective face oil, pure potent super oil and antioxidant. Penetrate deeply to hydrate, calm, and revive your lovely face. I'm always down for face oil. Yeah, it just smells like face oil. I'm always down for that. Works for me, I use it with my Retin-A. This is a teeth whitening pen, whitens teeth and freshens breath, vanilla mint. Remove cap, cap and click the button at the end of the pen until whitening gel dispenses. It may take several clicks. Smile and brush a thin layer on teeth. Wait 30 seconds, seconds before closing mouth and 10 to 30 minutes before eating or drinking. Apply up to two times today, uh, per day. Do not use in combination with coffee, tea, cigarettes, or other substances that may impact whitening teeth. Well, I drink a lot of coffee, and I need to just double check that it is gluten-free and sugar-free. So, there you go. Fine, I'm happy. I think I chose that, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Okay, this is kale and green tea. We got like drops for your face with that same thing. Um, this is Superfoods face, face Wash. Nice. I will save this for um, a cruise or travel. And there you go. I will save that for a cruise or travel. Like I said, it's a great size, um, especially when you're flying. Uh, let's see. What is this? This is Manicadar, which I like that brand. Oh, almost dropped it. Manicadar. I think it's Blush Bali Babe. Pretty. It's a very pretty sparkly pink. Oh, it's almost it's like a, almost metallic. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, but whatever. It's nice. It's small. I like that it's small. Okay, and then here is a gloss angel by Smashbox Sorbet Watch. 
Okay, Ooh, it's very bubblegummy pink. I have opened this and it's just, it's very bubblegummy pink and it actually is opaque. So I don't know, I'll have to play with it. You know, you can put it over some, it's this one here. Put it over some darker, it doesn't, it just smells like plastic, honestly. Um, you can put it over darker colors if you really want to. It looks a little gloopy, that's fine. And this one, I'm actually gonna put on my lips. This is by Fresh. It's called Freshly Lips, and um, this comforting lipstick gives you your natural lip a little extra oomph. I this I'm gonna like this. This is the kind of stuff I like. It's in the color Hungry. Oops, opened it upside down. You can see it's you know just a brownish pink. It's like a lip balm. Mm. doesn't really have a taste or a scent and just you know it's your lips I, I just like it I like it um, here is the bag this month it has these little rivets on it it's cute it's green lime green on the inside little slide pocket in there fine yeah I mean it's fine um, these are good for travel or you know giving a friend a gift of makeup this I chose. This is what I chose. I remember now. And I've actually swatched this. This is the Chella Eye Palette. The sparkly gold and the silver here. Or opalescent, whatever. And brown and another brown. I expected this to be smaller than it is. It is enormous. I mean, you can see the thickness of this thing and, you know, the size of my hand. Don't ignore my fingernails. But uh, we'll play with this. It's fine. It's fine to use at home. And uh, that gold and the sparkle in moderation. You know how I feel about sparkly things. Um, it was my son. Um, I like glitter and sparkle in moderation. So something I enjoy, but I'm very conservative with it. So let me put that over there. Let me put this back in here. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the Ipsy Plus. This is the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I already have one of these. It came in BoxyCharm. And the one that has the coconut in it that came last month, I'm giving that away um, because it's moisturizing and I have super oily skin. So I don't really, I don't know. We'll see. So another setting powder. So I have several setting powders to work my way through. I certainly do not need to buy any. This is the coffee scrub. The sexy skin is just a scrub away. I'm sure this will be fantastic. I'll put this in my shower. And then this is the Melin and Goats uh, Revitalizing Eye Gel. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll be good with, I love any kind of moisturizing eye gel. You know, I put it on before I put on any of my makeup to try and moisturize my eyes. I actually think I've had this before. Um, I used it all up, so, but I'm working through several eye creams right now. Um, I have three open, actually, and I use all three of them at one time because my eyes are super dry underneath um, and wrinkly. So there you go. Once I'm ready, I will open that and use that. This is the Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a black liquid eyeliner, and I will not use that, so I'm going to give that to my daughter-in-law because she will. This is the Phase Zero Liquid Lipstick, and it is like you've already seen it, sort of swatched on my hand. It's like this, it's very vanilla-y smelling, cake battery smelling. And bright pink. So, okay. You can doctor that up if that's not a color for you, but it does dry down hard, and not hard. <laughs> matte, very matte. Uh, here is the bag for this month, Unstoppable, with a little snap closure here. It's good. I'll put my contacts in that. That's a good one. And last but not least, the item I chose is this one, which is a blush palette, and I have switched it. It's uh, fine. Works fine. This, you know, is a metallic. This is almost a, a bronzing color, and these two are blushes. I'll definitely use it. All right, let me put this one away. And last but not least, the base box from uh, uh, BoxyCharm came with the Murad, Murad Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisturizer for Eyes. Another eye cream, I'm very good with that. And it's a big one, 
with the melon and goat goats was a big one too so there you go i don't want to open this as i'm not ready to use this yet um this is becca lip definer and it's in a very pale color but um you know if you're gonna use maybe you i don't know i'm, I'm making excuses for this but it's like the same color as my skin so just as a liner you can't even see it as a liner to maybe prevent bleeding that of lipstick might work for that i mean i'll use it because i've swatched it all over my hands this is a brow pencil by kat von d i'm excited about that it's in the color blonde seems to be a good color for me Yep, it's uh, and it's it's kind of firm. I, I actually like that. It helps prevent you not to put too much on in this boolie on the other end. And I am almost out of all my eye pe pencils. The one we got before was in some box a couple months ago. It's too dark for me. And I've gotten this in the Allure Beauty box. This must be a big uh, brand coming out this month. Mine's a little warped. Like if you look at it, you see that on there? It's almost like it got too hot. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I don't know if this is the same color or not as the one that came in that one. And it was a little um, orangey pink for me. And then, of course, we got... So I'm not going to swatch it. I'm actually probably going to let them know about that and throw it away. Uh, Hello Charmer. And there it is. I'm actually gonna keep this only because the glitters in there uh, are really, really unique and fun. And uh, I'm, I have a little collection of them only for like Halloween, maybe formal night on the ship, something special. I have two palettes now, this one and a Wander Beauty palette that are very glittery and that is all I need. I will never need another one, uh, provided these last forever. But you see this one right here, that just, it has me intrigued. It's, oh wow, it's very, very chunky. Oh dear. Regrets, regrets, I have regrets. But you see how pretty that is? So it's just light reflective and you, you can put it on ever so lightly and it just, a little sparkle on the eye, I love that. All right, let's do the, this marine blue charmer full size and the exclusive and then this one here on the end Lux. wow yeah see these are going to be fun to play with on a cruise these are not something for me for every day or even those are special occasion Special occasion eyeshadows not, it to be worn very for me very lightly, not with not a lot of of glitter, <laughs> just a touch, just a hint, and that's everything. So those are the three boxes. Um, I did want to show you. I talked about this last week. The Monk Pack Keto Bars. These are delicious. Well, the flavors I've had, I've had the coconut, the almond butter chip, and the maple pecan. Yeah, I like all of them. This one is almond butter chip. Very good. They're small. They have two to three, two grams of carbs, two net carbs, most of them. Yeah, the one gram of sugar. This is the peanut butter one. And that's the most I have here. Let's see. This one is the almond butter chocolate chip. I showed you that. Maple pecan right there. And these two are the coconut co cocoa chip. Those are good too. I didn't used to like coconut. Now I like, like it. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know. Now I like it. Something happened. These came in my Ellen box a while back. Um, I brought them with me. I didn't eat them. And then my bars here. And these were the snacks that Rob got on the plane. 
So I'm just gonna put them in as lunch this week. Okay, you guys, that's everything for right now. Good grief, that was already 20 minutes. Are you gonna see all of it? I have no idea. Are you gonna see any of it? I have no idea. Um, do you really care about Ipsy and BoxyCharm? I have no idea, but um, uh, it's the last month for it anyway. <laughs> so if it's a little long this week, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I am going to, I've completely unpacked already, completely unpacked, and laundry is going, and I just need to hang up the clothes that we didn't even wear. Um, so I'll be doing that and putting away all these snacks. And in here, um, as you know, there's a shortage of everything right now. And uh, in here is Clorox toilet cleaners. Um, I actually purchased these because I would like for my son to clean the bathroom more than once a week. Anyway, so those are just toilet clean, clean, cleaning wands. Um, I normally use the uh, Grove stuff, but I am out of that, the toilet bowl cleaner. And um, this was just, it was easy to pick up from Amazon right now. It shipped quickly and I needed toilet cleaner. And as you know, the shelves at the store are clean out of anything. So anyway, so all right, well, I'm going to watch some YouTube and um, redo my nails, polish my nails. Then I'm gonna put away all this subscription box stuff, put away my snacks. And then I've got some cleaning to do around the house as Chandler was super busy helping Robbie with work this week. The four days we were gone, five days we were gone. Um, and uh, so he didn't get to do his chores as much as he normally would. So I told him not to worry about it, that I'd be home and we would either do them together or I would do them. So seriously, the kids were putting in 15 hour days. So. Um, I wasn't going to be upset with my son for not getting chores done. Basically, I just wanted him, you were taking care of the dogs and uh, the prioritizing the business. So that's, that's what, and the cats, I'm sorry, I don't mean to forget the cats, but really you don't have to do much with cats, right? So, okay, I'm rambling, enough, 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 I'll see you in a minute.